Hello Opal's users. In this short tutorial I will create a topic wall then place it on the Opal's home page. Topic walls can be used to create virtual visual genre browsers. They can feature large genre or subject collections of interest to users of your library or can focus on special topics displaying varied items in the collections. By placing a topic wall on your Opal's homepage, you can broadcast collections to your library users and showcase varied collections, topics of interest, and the like. We will start by going to the home page button top left of your Opal's homepage screen and choose Topic Wall from the menu. Once you have chosen Topic Wall, you will be brought to a screen where you can click Add New on the far left. You can title the Topic Wall and provide a description as needed. For this tutorial, I will create a topic wall of graphic novels in my collection. I will not put in a description during this tutorial, but simply type in the name of the topic wall, Graphic Novels. Please note that you have the option of choosing Search This Library or Uploading Barcodes from a HIT file. HIT files are created using a tool such as Notepad found on your Windows Accessories menu or using a word processor. Please note that HIT files are simply saved barcodes. If you do not have Notepad, use any word processing software, but make sure you save the scanned barcodes as a simple text file, usually with an extension .txt. First, I will choose an icon to be displayed on my topic wall. There are a number of icons to choose from, and I will choose Graphic Novel by putting a check mark at the top of the icon and clicking Done at the bottom. I'm choosing Search This Library to then find items to add to the newly created topic wall. I have Graphic Novel as a call number prefix, so we'll search using the call number option and type in Graphic Novel. I will choose Select All, then click Done at the bottom of the screen. Please note, wait for the wheel to stop spinning after you choose Select All. In this case, I have over 200 items I'm adding to the topic wall. I have selected items from my topic wall and will now save the topic wall. You should see covers of items displaying on your screen. If you would like to delete any items at this time, see the trash can upper right corner of each item and click it. A green arrow will appear and when you save the topic wall, the item will not be part of this particular wall. To save, click the Save button to the left under Search This Library slash Upload Barcodes from a File. Please note that you can come back at any time to a topic wall and add or delete items as needed. The first step of creating the topic wall has been completed. Now I will create a tab to display the graphic novel's topic wall. On the home page I will click the pencil on the far right, which will open up the editor. You will see that you are in the editor as various tools appear, a color palette, etc. By clicking the plus sign to the right of an existing tab, I will create a new tab. For my topic wall, I will enter in the heading for the tab and will use only one column. I will enter Graphic Novels Topic Wall. You can, of course, name the tab any way you like. We now see the new tab and will next need to click the portlet for topic wall on the bottom right of the screen. This will place the portlet into the tab.
Next, I will choose the drop down on my portlet top left of screen and choose the topic wall that I wish to display. Please note that you may have many topic walls on this listing. I only have one and will click Graphic Novels. You will then see items populate your screen. Once the items have populated the screen, there are options as to how many rows and columns to display per page. I suggest experimenting with the rows and columns to find a display that you feel is suitable for your library users. I will show you some options here. I have found a display that I find will work for my library users. Please note that these display settings can be edited again by going back into the Edit Opal's home page, choosing the tab for the topic wall, and changing the settings for your display. When it's opened, you will see a little yellow cog wheel, and if you click that, that will open up the editing options that you have for rows, columns, and the like. I will now save this newly created topic wall placed on my Opal's home page by clicking the Save button at the bottom right of the screen. If you do not see the Save button, you can simply reduce the size of your screen display by holding down the Control key and press the minus key a few times. The Save button should appear. Click Save. Then click OK when prompted and go back to your home screen to have a look at your topic wall. I hope this short clip has assisted you in the creation and display of topic walls in Opals.